how's everybody doing? So this is one of those videos I have been dying to do. It's about tone and really it's more about string gauge. And uh, really, I want to kind of approach this from the jazz perspective. So I'm a tone freak. I love, you know, trying to mix, um, you know, whether I'm playing with, a, you know, an arch top, a telly type of guitar, strings and stuff. So string gauge has been very, very important to me. So, so let's talk about the myths, misconceptions, and sort of talk a little bit about the different players and um, the types of gauges that they, that they use. So pretty much, I would say the accepted um, um, way of thinking is that the higher the gauge, the fatter the sound is. So if you're playing jazz guitar and you're using 12s and 13, 12s and 13s on your guitar, um, whether that be an arch top, um, I don't know, Strat, Telecaster, or a, a Telecaster, Telecaster, or a 335, you're going to get a fatter sound. So higher the strings or the higher the gauge, the fatter the sound. That's the, um, you know, pretty much the premise. But um, there are some people who, who break that rule, and there are some people who actually you know, adhere to that rule. So you have somebody like Jim Hall. Jim Hall used nines. I've never played nines in my life. So I think growing up as a young guitarist, um, I played a lot of Yamaha guitars. I think I was on 12s and 13s, or even if they weren't, the actions were so high that it felt like 12s and 13s. So Jim Hall played nines. And also Ed Bickard, I believe, played nines. And he played the telly. So... These guys got really, really a fat sound out of that. And so it, I always figure that it's your fingers and your approach to that. I'm a, I kind of lean more towards the heavy gauge playing. So I'm usually on uh, my string of choice is 12s or 13s and typically to mastic. But um, this right now... These are round wounds on there on this thing, and they are 12s with a wound G, and they're Deodarios. So um, you can get used to a lot of different styles of guitar playing, or I should say a lot of gauges and stuff. And um, a lot of times when I go to a music store and I'm trying out these tellies, most of them are 10s. A lot of them are 9s, and I didn't even know there were 8s, but they're stuff that's like actually strong with 8s. And, and um, the idea is that the lighter to me, or like you said, the idea, the concept is more about, for me, it's more about feel. The lighter the gauge, the slinkier it can get. But that also means that depending upon your style, if you're like a legato player, that heavier gauge strings are stiffer. And you can't get that waviness and that legato type style to the same extent. You can get it. I mean, if you're a really good player, it don't matter what you're on. If you're on crappy strings, old strings, new strings, you're going to sound good. If you're Pat Martino playing, I don't care. If you put a set of nines on it and say, Pat, play this telly, he's going to sound nice. And so, so, But um, the whole idea is that for me, it's that um, the lighter the strings, the more legato I can get it to play. And it is actually easier as you start getting up there in terms of like um, your dexterity. Uh, the lighter the string without it being too floppy, you can get a lot of mileage on it. But there are a lot of players who surprisingly have really, really fat tones that don't use 12s or 13s. Like Mike Stern, I think he uses like 11s. And I, I mentioned uh, in reference earlier, if you got guys like um, you know Ed Bickard that use 9s, you have Jim Hall that use 9s. Um, I think that uh, Pat Martino actually uses like 13s. Uh, so you've got that opposite end. But Pat's playing is not very legato-like. It's very staccato and it's just like... And, you know, very, very, very melodic in that way. So you got to like understand where your playing is coming from and what you want to get out of that playing. And based upon that, use that. So I guess the short end of it is that the, the string gauge that you use um, I don't think that heavier is necessarily better. I think that it's more of a psychological thing that depending upon where your starting point is and what you're trying to get across from um, 
musicianship wise that um your fingers is going to determine um how good of a sound you get out of it and what that value is so if you are coming from that school of thought that heavier gauge strings give you a fatter sound then you're going to be predisposed to think that way if you're coming from maybe even an alternative string style of playing whether you grew up playing i don't know um cello or something else um that medium sized strings or strings that have a little bit more uh, play to them they're lighter there are like say 11s 10s or 9s or god forbid even 8s are going to resonate a little bit more and you want a little bit more legato type playing then that's going to be perfect for you so you know so anyway thank you for watching and choose the gauge that you want experiment and enjoy this Beautiful thing called guitar.